Hello everyone, in this video we have how to circle and one or two is center of these circles. Radius of the small circle is equals root 5 and radius of the large circle equals root 10. And then green shaded area is asked. Okay. First step, let's connect here. We know that this length is radius of the large circle and this length is radius of the small circle. And let's connect here. This length is also radius of small circle. And radius of small circle equals root 5 here is also root 5 and radius of large circle equals root 10 if you notice that we get an isosceles right triangle why let's remind you in an isosceles right triangle, these two sides must be equal. Let's call here A, and the ratio of these two sides must be root 2. That means these two angles must be 45 degrees. So here must be 45 degrees and here is also 45 degrees. And then let's connect here. This length is also radius of small circle. And this length is radius of large circle. So here must be 45 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. That means this line must be linear because it's across the 90 degrees. So Let's call this green shaded area uppercase G and this area let's call uppercase A and this triangle area let's call uppercase B. We know that A plus G equals half of the small circle area right one over two times pi times root five squared that means a plus g equals five pi over two so g is going to be five pi over two minus a. If we can calculate area of A, we get the area of G. Right? Okay. This circle sector area equals A plus B. If you notice that, A plus B equals 1 over 4 of the large circle area. That means A plus B equals 1 over 4 times pi times 10. Therefore, area of A equals 
5 pi over 2 minus p. That means if we can calculate the area of p, we get the area of a and we plug in the area of a in this formula. Therefore, we will get the area of g. Okay. b equals half of the base and height therefore 1 over 2 times base is 2 root 5 times root 5 so b is going to be 5 unit squared therefore a is going to be 5 pi over 2 minus 5 squared. Finally, g equals 5 pi over 2 minus 5 pi over 2 minus 5. These are gone. So, g is going to be 5 units squared. Thanks.